A high sodium diet will increase my risk of cancer. Poor gut health causes acne. Hi, my name is Dr. Brian Schwender and I'm a practicing gastroenterologist at Tucker Medical in Singapore. Today I'm going to discuss some of the more common gastrointestinal misconceptions that I routinely run into on a day-to-day -day basis. Asians are at a higher risk of colon cancer. True. Here in Singapore, the number one cause of cancer amongst men is colorectal cancer, and it's the second most common cause of cancer amongst women. In Indonesia, it's in the top five causes of cancer amongst men and women. Now, given this high rate of cancer in Southeast Asia, we do recommend colorectal cancer screening for all individuals of appropriate age. Colonoscopy bowel prep is uncomfortable. True. To some extent that's true, but it's not an extremely difficult thing to undertake. Typically, patients go for their colonoscopy. They're required to clear out their bowels so that we can visualize the inside of the intestines for things like polyps or growths or even cancer. So it's very important to have a very good clean prep. What is a bowel prep? Well, it's, it's essentially keeping you on a liquid diet the day before your procedure and later in the evening drinking some laxatives to help you clear out the solid waste that's left in your colon. It's not painful, doesn't usually cause a lot of nausea or stomach upset, but it will cause some diarrhea. But once that's done and you come in for your procedure, pretty much that's it. The hard part's over. I have no abdominal symptoms and therefore I can't have colon cancer. That statement is false. The vast majority of patients who have early cancers or even colon polyps or precancerous lesions will not have any symptoms at all. It's usually when people have symptoms, their cancer is so far advanced that they can't do anything about it. Colonoscopy is the only way to screen for colon cancer. False. Although colonoscopy is considered the gold standard for colorectal cancer screening, it is not the only modality at which one can undergo colon cancer screening. We have other options such as a CAT scan or CT scan to look at the inside of the colon to look for polyps, growths, or even cancers. It still requires you to do a bowel prep much like a colonoscopy, but this test does not require you to have any sedation. There are also lesser invasive modalities such as stool tests or microscopic amounts of blood, which oftentimes colon cancer will produce. However, this is not a very sensitive modality of detecting colorectal cancer or polyps for that matter. Colorectal cancer screening with colonoscopy is still considered the best option for not only detecting colon polyp, but it's also the best option to remove polyps at the same time. A high sodium diet will increase my risk of cancer. That's true. We know that diets that are higher in sodium have higher risks of certain cancers, including gastric cancer or stomach cancer, as well as colorectal cancer, especially as we know that in countries such as Japan, Korea, and China, where their diets are higher in sodium, we also see much higher rates of these types of cancers. As a result, we do recommend patients to reduce their sodium intake, not only to reduce the risk of certain cancers, but also to reduce the risk of developing high blood pressure or even cardiovascular disease. Poor gut health causes acne. True. So when we refer to one's gut health, oftentimes we're actually talking about their microbiome or the bacteria, viruses, or fungi that normally live in our intestinal tract. And it's very important that one's microbiome is in alignment with the rest of their body. And when we change things like in our diet or certain lifestyle changes, we, we live a, a more sedentary lifestyle or we don't get proper sleep, all of these can affect one's microbiome. And when our gut microbiome is not well, it can also affect other systems in our body, including our skin and the development of acne. I hope I was able to clarify some of these misconceptions within gastrointestinal diseases today. If you have any other further questions, please put them in the comment section below or hit the subscribe button.